Shea Jackson Jr. and Carrie Russell. Give it up, y'all. So it's been hard to digest the news coming out of Memphis these past couple months. The death of Tyree Nichols is absolutely tragic and senseless. Um, our next guest wants to make sure those headlines are not the only ones we see coming from his city, which is why he launched a project that shines a light on black men lifting up and being a force of positivity in Memphis. It's incredible, y'all. He is a rad human celebrating other rad humans. Give it up for him. From Black Men Crowned, love that. Let's welcome Justin Hart. Thank you. Thank you. Great to meet you. Thank you. It's great being here. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh my God, I'm honored to have you here. Meet Carrie. How, How you doing, Carrie? Hi. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Oh, should I call you O'Shea or just Shay? What do you call? You call me Shay when we're on the couch. Shay. Okay. All right, Shay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Well, explain what Black Men Crowned is. Yeah. So Black Men Crowned is a nonprofit organization that I established in my hometown of Memphis, Tennessee, and it's devoted to creating a safe space for Black men to feel honored, empowered, and celebrated. Mm -hmm. Now, the premise of the organization is our annual award show, which is called the Black Men Crowned Award. Awards, and that focuses on celebrating black men in various professions from entrepreneurship to business to politics, education, and we also provide scholarships to graduating seniors. That's incredible. Yeah. And it's like a huge award show. Yes. Yeah. It hasn't been done if you think about it on a broader scale. Like you have shows like Black Girls Rock and Essence Women of Hollywood and a lot of other plethora of award shows, but there's nothing that's specifically catered towards the celebration of black men. So I wanted to create that in my hometown. I love that. So what inspired mm -hmm. you to start this specifically? So as a creative that's been a part of the media industry for 10 plus years, Kelly, I did not feel valued as a black man. I didn't feel that my voice was heard. I used to be in spaces where I didn't feel comfortable authentically and truthfully expressing my views without being misunderstood. Mm. So what I did was I brought together some of my male colleagues who are also creatives, and we had an open and honest conversation about mental health, overcoming obstacles, and not feeling appreciated. And we also talked about the importance of recognizing our achievements on a mainstream level. So I took that concept and I presented it to my friends in Memphis, and we decided to execute this vision, Black Men Crown, in the city of Memphis, because Memphis has been viewed as a crime-infested city, yeah. and I wanted people across the globe to know that Memphis is much more than what the media has depicted us to be. There's so many amazingly talented black dynamic men that are killing the game and they are doing some extraordinary things in their communities. Beautiful and I wanted to create yeah. Well, yeah. And I wanted to create a space for us to explore and recognize and celebrate them. And when you think about the recent tragedy of what took place with Tyree Nichols, it goes to show that this work is extremely important for us to be able to highlight and celebrate them. Absolutely. Yeah. It's incredible. Yes, thank you. So, Shay, does the portrayal of black men in the media influence the projects that you choose to be a part of? Do you think that plays a role? Absolutely. Um, you know, personally, uh, I feel that Hollywood uh, typecasts uh, rappers a lot. Yeah. You know, I feel like there's it a lot of... typecasts a lot of different <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. like, as far as my own personal journey, yeah. I would see my dad not getting opportunities for roles that I know he could kill, that I, mm. I know that he can do. And so what I, I set out with my team is to make sure that every role that I got is way different than the last mm. so they couldn't box, they couldn't box me in. Yeah. They could see uh, black men in anything. You know, uh, it started off with Straight Outta Compton, obviously, but, you know, the next one was Den of Thieves, and Den of Thieves... Black people don't get to be the mastermind of the crime. Or, or uh, in Long Shot with Seth Rogen and Charlize Theron, I, we get to be the tech billionaire in that yeah, one. Yeah. You know, and, and just this philosophy of mine to always have a different role or, or just show a different face mm -hmm. uh, led me to be in, you know, Star Wars. And, you know, it's only like nine black people in space. <laughs> 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 so, like, you know, we, we, we're, we're able to, to break down that. So yeah. I completely believe in, in love what you're doing. Thank you. And it, it needs to be shown uh, that we can wear all faces, man. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So I want to see you in a rom-com. Oh, yeah, oh. you know. I don't know if I you're into rom-coms, but I want to see a rom-com. Okay. Check out Inger Goes West. Okay, I'm going to check that out. Comedy, I'm not... But yeah, check it out. I like a dark comedy. <laughs> yeah, I like... Yeah. I would think you're amazing in a rom-com. Um, so tell us about the different awards that people can win at this award show. Yeah, so with the award show, we have an undisclosed panel that comes together to really help us narrow down the honorees because, like I said, in Memphis, there's so many talented black men that are doing the work. Mm -hmm. So we have the Social Impact Award. We have the Humanitarian Award. We have the Memphis Icon Award, which is devoted to someone who has spent decades 
decades of their lives devoted to public service. And one of the most important awards to me, all of them are important, but to me what stands out is our Young King Award. And that is a scholarship that's presented to a graduating senior in high school that's doing extraordinary work inside and outside of the school system. Yeah. Now let me tell you about the evening itself, though, because it's almost like the Emmys meets the, uh, the Oscars. It's a beautifully well put together dinner, cer dinner ceremony with yeah. Three course meals, we have musical performances, we have a live band, we have speakers and pre uh, presenters, yeah. and it's just a beautiful evening of celebrating black excellence. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So programs, mm -hmm. Carrie, programs like this are so important, don't you think? Gosh. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 33. This I'm is so amazing. Young, no. This is, I mean, but also when you create something like that, then all of those yeah. incredible people can network with each other mm -hmm. during all of that and create even more, More things. Opportunity. I mean, it's such a it's such a beautiful thing that you're Thank doing. You. And are other cities considering taking this on? Look, that's my goal. Yeah, it that is good. my goal eventually yeah. is to take this to a national level. Yeah. yeah. Because I believe that black men deserve to be honored not only locally but nationally and hopefully one day internationally. Yeah. But that is my goal is to make this a national dream. Uh, big. Platform. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have two of this year's recipients in the audience. So everybody, say hello to Eddie Jones and Caleb. Everybody. <laughs> Award. So it's for a lifetime of service to your city. So tell us about some of your work that you've done. Hello, Kelly. Glad Hello. to be on the show. But uh, let me say this. I spent my entire life in Memphis committed to service. That's what I did. I did it in the capacity as a police officer, as a county commissioner, as a mm -hmm. now probate court clerk. And so my community service and all the work that I did in the community was raising funds, for helping people get their utilities paid. Also, back to school giveaways. And, uh, but what I'm most proud of, one of the things I'm proud of as a commissioner, I was able to get allocated over $650 million in my eight years of service as a commissioner that went back into the black community, particularly predominantly to our schools so our kids could be educated. And so. That's incredible. Because that's what creates opportunity at that level, too. Kids, giving kids opportunity, that's where it starts. Right. It's incredible. Yeah, but what I'm really most proud of is April 4th. As a commissioner, I made that a holiday in Shelby County. Mm -hmm. That was the day that Dr. King was assassinated in Memphis. Mm -hmm. It was not a holiday. Now it is. Yeah. Well, Caleb, tell us about your award. Hi, Kelly. Hello. <laughs> so my award, I won the Young King Award from Black Man Crowned Awards, and accompanied along with that award, I won a $5,000 scholarship oh from God. local rapper NLA Choppa, along with a $1,000 scholarship from Black Man Crown. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, did you, Caleb, do you know where you want to go to college? Do you know, do you have an idea? No, I've narrowed down my two top schools where I want to uh, spend the next four years of my educational career, and that's either Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut, yeah. or the University of Pennsylvania located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. So, why do you think you won the award? Yes, Kelly. So, I personally believe that servant leadership is the only way to lead. I humbly serve the 576 students of East High School located back home in Memphis, Tennessee as the Student Government Association president along with Student Congress member. Wow. In, that, in those both auxiliaries, I was able to secure over $24 million <laughs> in mental health resource funding. What? Wow. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> in fact, um, in my, well, when I become probably around 30 years old, I am looking to run uh, for the United States Senate back home in Tennessee to become Tennessee's first African-American senator. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> At 30? Bro, you can sell water to a drowning man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm down with it. Whatever cause you got going, man, much, much praise to you. Oh, Thank my you, gosh. What a flex. Just <laughs> killing it already. He's like, well, so by 30, I'm like, you have a plan? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm an artist, so I never have a plan. But, like, <laughs> it's like, wow. Um, well, Caleb, we know that college costs can pile up. Um, any parent does, really. Uh, that's why we want to give you $5,000 to cover some expenses. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank I'm you. I'm so thank proud you. of you. Thank you. Thank you. What an incredible you. young man. And, and Justin, so as a part of our Black History Month celebration, we're actually going to give Black Men Crown $5,000 as well so it can keep growing because we want to wow. see it not only go national, but to go international. Thank you. It's an incredible thing you're doing. This. Yeah. Wow. Look who you just, found and you get to uplift yeah. these two men. Oh, they're it's, incredible. It's like, it takes moments like this for me to fully, okay, well, sorry, <laughs> for me to fully process, you know, the importance uh, of the work that we're doing. And to receive this type of recognition shows yeah. that I am walking in my purpose because there's a lot of obstacles and challenges that comes along with creating something from scratch mm -hmm. and trying to create a movement in your hometown. And I'm just so grateful um, for this platform and thank you so much. Such for an it. important thing you're doing in your community wow. and I think it would be a blessing to have this in every community, to be lifting people up, yeah. you know. So thank you for yeah. highlighting that for thank all you. of us. Yeah. Appreciate it.